In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Welcome back to yet another day of where we're taking the time to understand the prayer behind the Tuesday section of the prayer of Udasi Maram. I hope you're following along and I hope you're reading this prayer and understanding it while we discuss about it. So let's get right to it. Tafasihi o walari ta'gzi hasiya tomu lamalaikta. Rejoice, O oh, the Mother of God. You are the joy of the angels. The joy of the angels. Our forefathers tell us that during the time where God created this universe, He took time to decorate every single thing that was within the universe. Like a groom getting ready for his wedding. Uh, when a groom gets ready for his wedding, he rents the venue, he, he gets the food, he decorates the place, and then he invites uh, his guests over. And then he says, look, this is the wedding day that I've been waiting for. And everybody eats and everybody rejoices uh, at the wedding of the groom. The same manner, in the same manner, it says that God prepared the world and the universe and put the stars everywhere and put the moon exactly where it needed to be and put the sun where it needed to be. And then he invited the guests, which were the angels, to marvel at his creation. And then they asked, who is this for? Who did you create all these amazing things for? And God said, for my special creation, Adam. I have created Adam. And they said, what does he look like? And God said, he looks like me before I have created him in, his, in my image. And then when they saw Adam, they saw all of creations because of course, the from Adam comes every creation, including the Virgin Mary. Uh, because she's his descendant. And for that, the angels rejoice. Now, it's important to understand. Our forefathers tell this story not to tell some actual conversation that took place between God and angels, but to help us understand in a very poetic way how meticulous God was before he prepared this universe for you and I, for mankind. And when we talk about mankind, we have to mention the Virgin Mary. And for this, she should rejoice. Then Saint Ephraim continues with the prayer and says, Tafasihi o eight. Rejoice, O oh, the purified one. You are the prophetic words of the prophets in the Old Testament. Before she even came into this world, the prophets in uh, their prophetic words and their holy words foretold this, this mystery that would take place hundreds and hundred years after them. How? Through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah was able to, to mention that the virgin would give birth. Last time we talked about the prophet Ezekiel saying that the, the Virgin Mary would be eternally virgin. So here we have prophets who have talked about the Virgin Mary for hundreds of years before she even arrived. For this, she should rejoice. Tafasihi ismaragavki mogasa mogasa exavir misleki. Rejoice because you have found favor with God. Rejoice because you have found favor with God. Like from all the women, from everyone out there, she was the one who was chosen to be the mother of God. For this, she should rejoice. And then it continues and says, you have received the word of the angel joy to all the world to all the world you have received the the, the words of the angel when saint gabriel came and he told the virgin mary you shall rejoice for you will be called a virgin you are going to be the mother of god and for this you should rejoice what did she respond she responded by simply saying you let it happen i agree many people wonder why we take time to thank the virgin mary 
Many people wonder why we take time to praise the Virgin Mary. It's because she had a role in salvation. Yes, it is our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ who died for us on the cross. It is because God the Son came into this world and became man. But this process of salvation was kicked off by the willingness of the Virgin Mary uh, being able to be a part of this, this whole ordeal by her saying, I agree to host none other than God the Son. A few years back, uh, when uh, I was uh, living with my parents, um, I was home alone and one day I got a knock on my door and I went to open the door and lo and behold, it was two young girls. They were in probably high school or something like that. And I said, what's going on, peoples? And they were Ethiopians. Uh, so they said, you know, we're locked out of the house. We don't know where to go. We know you're Ethiopian. Do you mind if we stay here for a little bit until our mom comes home? I said, absolutely. I'm a nice guy. I can do this. So I let them into the house and I gave them kolo because they're Ethiopian. And then after that, uh, about like two hours passed and their mom came in and she was so thankful and grateful because of my uh, hospitality, as they would say. But I really didn't do much. I just let them stay in the house and watch TV. That's it, you know, and gave them a little golo, maybe water. But we were running out of water, so I didn't want to give too much away. But it was like, it's a gesture that anybody, but she was so thankful and was like, wow, really, I didn't know what I was going to do until I came home. Here's the point. If this mother could thank me for hosting her daughters, how much more thankful should we be? To the Virgin Mary, who hosted our King, who hosted our Father, who hosted our Savior in her womb for nine months. She gave him a home. She hosted him. And for this, we take time and we say, thank you. Tafasihi, you shall rejoice. And then it says, Tafasihi, O waladi tafatare kulu alam sa'ali lenek adist. Rejoice. Oh, the mother of creator of all the world. He created everything in this universe and the universe itself. And you are his mother for this. You shall rejoice. Sa'ali, Lenek, and this beseech for us to your beloved son, Jesus Christ. Hopefully you continue to pray. Hopefully you continue to, to, to do the readings that's assigned for this uh, week or for the day. And uh, with the will of God, we'll meet again tomorrow to learn more about this wonderful prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.